Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Imagine a scale, you know, the kind that has two pans on each side and goes, one side gets tilted up, the other down, depending upon what you put on. Anyway, imagine a scale like that, and you put all the good that you have done in your life on one side, and all the bad that you've done on the other side. Which way would the scales tip, and how far? Um, um, do your best to be honest, but maybe first it's might be helpful to see uh, hear an example. Here's a composite that I've drawn from my clients, my friend, and myself. First, the good side. Well, let me go chronologically. I was a good student, compliant. I guess that's good. I never ran away from home. I guess that's good. My parents would have freaked. When I graduated from college, I didn't take years to, quote, find myself. I recognize that I'd be more likely to do that by starting on what seemed a reasonable path, not by seeking gurus. It was good that I threw myself into my career as a human resources specialist. I dated, but never felt marriage was wise for me, and despite pressure from my parents and friends, I never felt the urge to be a parent. I think I did more good for the world by staying child-free. I feel I did good by joining and staying in my church choir. Although I'm not religious, I like to think that we inspired each other, as well as our parishioners, and it was one of the few activities that could offend no one. I'm glad I concentrated my charity by giving my time and money to one local charity I knew would use the money well. And even though it wasn't tax deductible, I feel good about having given to someone who hated college, dropped out, but had much potential. I got her a job in my company, and she's done well. I leave most of my money in my will to that charity and to her. Now let's turn to the bad. As a teen, I was a shoplifter, and beg by the way, I'm stressing that this is a composite story of my clients, friends, and myself. These are not well, certainly all applying to me. As a teen, I was a shoplifter, a frequent shoplifter. Looking back, I'm embarrassed. I did too much weed in college. I wonder if it had a long-term effect on my motivation and memory and contributed to my gaining weight, which I've never been able to take off. I keep forgiving my lazy sister and indeed enabled her by continuing to, quote, lend her money and to listen to her endless excuse making. After a year of frustration with a co-worker, I screamed at him. Not only didn't it help, I got a formal reprimand. And this composite person's conclusion, I think my scale tips well toward the good. The only thing I would change is to maybe donate a little more money to the church choir. We could really use some cool new sheet music and be able to pay the accompanist so that we can get someone as inspiring as I think we are. I'm also going to redouble my efforts to avoid that coworker who's still there, low these many years later. Okay, so now let's turn to you. What's your story? The following questions may help you crystallize it. There's no need to answer all the questions nor pour over them. Generally, if it's important, the answer will pop right in the mind. So, what were the best and worst things you did as a child? I'm going to wait a few seconds to give you a moment to process. Of course, you can rewind and listen back. What were the best and worst things you did as a teen? What were the best and worst things you did as a young adult? What were the best and worst things you did as an adult? What have been the best and worst things you did at work? Well, you've done at work. What have been the best and worst things you've done in relationships? What have been the best and worst things you've done regarding your health, physical and emotional? What have been the best and worst things you've done recreationally? What have been the very best and worst things you've done overall? So now, does your scale of life tilt to the good side or the bad, and how far? And what, if anything, do you want to do more of in light of all that, less of, and or differently? In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.